Hi guys! <laughs> Welcome to my crazy life! It's Lori and Mr. Alex. He is my, he's my big boy. He's a big un. I think he weighs like 20 pounds. Come here, Gops. Come here. He's deaf. For real. There you go. And that's Mr. Wellington. Say hi, baby. Oh, you say hi. Okay. Everybody happy? I have a Dollar Tree haul for you today, but first I want to show you a little something I picked up at Lane Bryant. Let me tell you, I am obsessed with their pajamas. Now, I had a say 55% off coupon, which is why I purchased these. I'm taking off the, the thing. So these were regularly $54. I paid $25, but look at this shirt, first of all. And I can't... Oh... I got to take it back. Dang it. They didn't take the security tag off. That makes me sad. I'll have to go back with it. But the shirt, I can't even show it to you. The shirt says, Witch and Famous. <laughs> it says, Witch and Famous. And the pants are just black and white striped. I like these, so I don't wear sets well, but these are considered like a legging, so the pant legs aren't as loose as some other ones. I get an 1820 just because I like to have them comfortable. But now I'm gonna have to take them back and have them, I gotta find my receipt. Take them back and have them take the tag off, or take the, sensor off so I don't feel like I have a magnet strong enough to do that okay Dollar Tree time I picked up a couple more of these cans I like them this the chicken like chicken salad chicken spread it's good it's convenient for me to have when I'm out and about also, oh, I picked up a lot of food in here. I got these for Sarah's friend, Riley. And I have a set for Sarah as well as the Oreos. These are the pumpkin spice Oreos. And this is the caramel corn or um, candy corn. So I'm making them little goodie bags for our trip they're taking. So I picked up those. And then for myself, I got some sugar-free cough drops. I've, been, I've had this cold and a meat stick because I was hungry, but I didn't need it. So that's just food stuff. Nothing of any excitement. Although I'm pretty excited for them to try the pumpkin spice Oreos. Okay, now I purchased some things. Um, this one is a, tr it's a comb. I mean, that's it. It's a comb, but it's for curly hair. And so when I get out of the shower, I use these in my hair. Um, so I get my curls. So I have one, but I wanted a second one. So I just grab a cheapie because I think I will put this in my luggage when I go on my vacation that I have coming up here soon, actually. Oh, I have more food. Apparently, I was hungry when I went shopping. So, I love this brand. It's hers is the brand. And they have regular pork rinds and barbecue. And I like these. And they're great for me. Again, on the go, I can take these in the car, put them in, pack my lunch. Because I'm going back to work twice a week. So, I've been packing my lunch. That's not it. Um, oh, behind me here. And these are great to put in a lunch bag. It's a little more than one serving, but I usually eat it over. Yeah, they're trying to tell me there's three servings in here. I don't think so. Not three servings, but they're good for me to have. And, oh, I picked up for travel. I got some more of these. I just like to keep them in my purse, to be honest with you, or my car. Um, these are Lysol. You get a little bit more of these. You get 15 Lysol, and I think the Clorox ones, you only get nine wipes. So I grabbed one. I just have, like, a basket in my 
linen closet that has like cleaning products and I put these and when I need one I just grab it and I like the convenience of that size um so here's a little travel hack for you I grabbed these salad dressing containers and what I like to put in here when I'm traveling you could put your shampoo in here you could put your conditioner in here I mean they're a dollar guys but that holds a fair amount it's the squeezy rubber, but you can also put, like when I go um, to a hotel, I'll put Dawn, uh, dish detergent, Dawn in here or something like that. Now, when I go abroad to London, I'm bringing Dr. Bronner's soap. It's an all-purpose soap. I can use it for literally laundry, dishes, my hair, my body. It's just an all-purpose Castile soap. Um, I'll bring that so I can use it in case I need to wash a t-shirt or a bra or if I get something on my clothes, but I can also use it for my coffee cups and stuff like that. And it's just a little better for the environment, but these are great for that. And they do have a nice click. Now I will tell you, I always put these inside of a zip bag because I'm extra, but so I grab those. And then also for my travel, so I'm bringing a regular toothbrush, right? But I will show you, I like this for my carry-on bag. So I'm flying overnight. I'm going to probably fall asleep on the plane, hopefully, because my my flight leaves here at 7.30 p.m. I get to New York at 10, 9.30, and then I leave at 10.30 p.m., Eastern Standard Time and I arrive at 10.30 a.m. British time. So I'm hoping I will sleep on the plane, but I wanna brush my teeth. Now, first fact, you don't use the water in the bathroom to brush your teeth, you take a bottle of water. But this little toothbrush has its own little case, right? So it does that and then it comes out and you put it on its case and now you have a toothbrush to brush your teeth and then when I put it back like that, it doesn't get like gross and things don't touch it. And this is tiny and it'll fit in my little carry-on along with this little tiny tube of toothpaste. Now this would not last me an entire week and it doesn't need to. This is going in my carry-on, a bigger tube. I have a whitening toothpaste goes in my luggage, check luggage, but that is for me to have, um, on the airplane because even if I don't brush my teeth on the airplane when I get off the airplane and before I like talk to people I'm gonna want to freshen up so that's what we're gonna do while we're on beauty this is called stunning volumizer volume styler now I put it together already so I wanted to see what it looked like but what you get is a hairbrush, which is really kind of a nice hairbrush. And then it has a cover that comes with it. And then these bristles come off and in here is like, it smells like roses and it feels like wax. And you put this in your brush in here and then you slide this on. It's very different, I'm not gonna lie. And then apparently you're supposed to like, you know, run it through your dry hair and it's supposed to add volume. I have so much product in my hair right now. Nothing's happening, but <laughs> oh, it smells nice. And it seems dry. I don't know. I thought it was interesting to try. And then you put your cover back on it. So the little, and it has essential oils in it. Uh, no heat, no sprays, helps hydrate, volumizing, but botanical and fused, designed to nourish and restore hair for all hair types. So I think what I will do with this is use it like a hair treatment for myself. So wash my hair, let it dry, and then run these botanicals through it, and then just let it do its thing. Oh, I thought that was so cool. Oh, what's the brand? Did I show you the box? I'm a little rat. I'm a little crazy tonight. And the brand is, oh, it has petroleum. So it's oil-based. Stunning Vault, it's just stunning, I think, is the brand. And it includes a travel. I don't know, guys. I don't know, I'm a mess. Oh, I have 
some more stuff over here. I got, oh, I picked up ham to try. I haven't tried the ham yet, I don't think. So I grabbed two of the hams. But like I said, these are great for me just to have in my pantry when I'm on the go. I also picked up some Himalayan pink sea salt. I really enjoy this. There's minerals. I mean, I don't know really about the health benefits other than there's no iodine in it and it's pretty natural. And I prefer this to iodized salt. So yeah. And it says, what is pink Himalayan salt? Pink salt is a pure crystal salt which was formed inside the mountains more than 250 million years ago. Um, concentra oh, it is considered to be the purest of the salts. And it's pink because there's minerals and stuff in it, but I like it. I like the flavor of it, and so this is what I use. I use it when I cook, and for any salted reason. Um, I grabbed some of these. I'm not sure what for, but I like them. I think I was going to gift something in them, maybe. And then I got these Halloween necklaces. But what I will do is cut them and put them in my tiered tray, maybe, as like a garland. So I grabbed these. These are fun. Oh, I don't need to cut them. I forgot. These have the safety... These are the safety necklaces. Oh, I can't, but they have a, like they come out. The safety is on them. So if somebody were to get choked, it would come apart. But I think these are fun. Also, do you remember the twisty necklaces? If you're my age, my mom used to buy them for me and you would get the beads and twist them and you could wear them as a necklace. That's what these remind me of. Yes, I wore twisted necklaces, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's true. Um. Oh, and then I found this. Follow your dreams. But I really felt like I could DIY this somehow. Take off this. I don't care for this saying necessarily. But I care for the sign. I like it. I think it would be fun for Christmas, too. You can make it like a snow globe, even. Although I feel like... They come out with snow globe signs. I do want to try to get this off the stand it's on so that I can like sand this down maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I see things and I want to make fun things and then sometimes I do and sometimes I just don't. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I don't know if I mentioned, but I got my car back today. 37 days I was without a car. Yeah, so I got it back. Um, tissues. That's where my life was when I went shopping. Okay. By the way, while I'm doing, I'm doing a little sorty sort. Um, I was at Target on my way home from work today and sure did see Christmas in the dollar spot. I'm thinking they put it out too early. I've never seen it at my Target dollar spot before Halloween. So I'm thinking somebody made a mistake and put it out before they were supposed to. I'm not sure, but that's what I'm thinking. Okay, so I grabbed, it's just a dish pick. Hi, hi, don't go over there, there's flame. Sir, hey. Oh yeah, she went to scratch. He goes to the vet next week. I don't think he's hearing me when I talk to him. Um, I picked up these, which are supposed to be furniture scratch markers, but I use them to color all the wooden things. So I grabbed this heart. I think I want to make like a witch gnome. Or I'm going to try. Um, maybe. So I grabbed this, but I got the markers because this one came with black. And I could do the witch's hat. And it's a stain opposed to a paint. That's Alex. He's in his cat scratcher. In case anybody needed to know. I got some doggy piddle pads. You get three of them because Alex, the fat one, whenever I put him in his carrier and take him anywhere, he poops. In his carrier. It's embarrassing, but he does. 
So I have, and I'm taking them to Sarah's while I'm on vacation. So I need to put these in the bottom of his cat carrier so that it's easier to clean up. My vet is one mile down the road and he poops every time we go to the vet. I'm like, you are a ridiculous cat. Um, I grab this. I put this under my air fryer so it doesn't melt my countertops. And I also have one under my coffee maker. But I like the black. Nothing exciting there. Um, I grab these bags. So I'm gonna be doing a heat transfer vinyl video and we're gonna try to do heat transfer vinyl on a paper bag and see what that does because I think that would be fun. He just goes sit there, okay? I think that would be fun and I wanna make these for Sarah and her friend Riley for their trip. So it's perfect and I already have the heat transfer vinyl cut out. I just need to iron it on a bag. So I grabbed some bags for that. Also, I got the painter's tape from the Dollar Tree. I opened this because I needed to use it. It's not terrible. I mean, I don't know that I would trust it to paint my house, but for crafting purposes, it's pretty fantastic. And I'm gonna be doing um, some laser wood burning. And you're supposed to, if you put the tape down and burn through the tape, it's supposed to help with like the overburn or the smoke marks on your things that you cut. Um, I picked this up, not for the sign, although the sign is not terrible, but for the wood. So I think I wanna make something and attach it to this, I think. I wasn't 100% sure, but I had an idea. And so, yeah. I think I'm gonna make something on top of this. And I think I know what it is just gonna say I think I know what it is I'm not telling you but I think I know oh so what did I see at the dollar spot at Target that was Christmas related I saw wooden cutouts they had like I thought it was very overpriced for what it was you get one coffee cup one word one this one that those like six little things but I didn't need it in my life I don't think um for three or four dollars and I saw one wreath and some of the fluffy pillow blanket things. I think that was it, but I was still so, oh, and some signs, but I was still surprised. Okay, I've got a couple things here. So speaking of Christmas, my Dollar Tree got some Christmas things in, buddy. Don't go over there and get yourself on fire, please. Let's not catch ourselves on fire. Thank you. Yeah. Um, But I also think this would be fun to I wanted this one specifically. I know I got this last year, but again, I think I can heat transfer onto this or paint or I like the plane and make like a fun ornament with it or put this in my tiered tray because this is a good size for a Christmas tiered tray. So I grabbed that. I know I had some from last year, but I'm not sure if I got rid of them. Um, I also, they brought these back, which are the pom-poms, which, you know, I love. So I just grabbed one of each for this year because I feel like I had some from last year. Again, I didn't dig through and see what I have, but I will use these. So, and honestly, any time of the year, St. Patrick's Day, Valentine's Day, if I don't use them for Christmas. So those were fun. I grabbed those. I think I saw these last year, but I don't know if I ever found them. And so they were out this year. And it's just a pair of ice skates, but I love them. And again, you could do an ornament and put somebody's name on it. You could do a couple's name. You can make gift tags out of these. I mean, there's just so many different things you can do. Um, you could, to be fair, stand these up like that and have them stood standing up. You could paint them, paint this silver and white and just have fun with it. So I grabbed just one. Again, I don't need a bazillion things, but I definitely... I can't remember if I got the ice skates last year. And they have these again, and I think these are cuter. I believe that these are a little different than what they had, and they may be exactly the same, but I just think they're freaking adorable. The little gingerbread people are so cute. So I grab those, you get four of them, and I think these are stickers. Yep, yeah, they're stickers. And these I know are new, but the little gnomes. Like, I love these for decorating cards or probably not my planner, but maybe my Christmas planner. 
So I think I need to find it. I bought it last year and I can't find it. But it's an undated Christmas add-on for my Happy Planner. And these would be good for that. So I grabbed some stickers. I don't need a lot of the stickers in my life. But I mean, come on. Come on. Isn't that adorable? I think it's everything. So that was all the Christmas stuff that I found. That I mean, a lot of the stuff that came out with so far has been from last year. And I'm not mad because I'm not really ready to be bringing Christmas into this house. But you buy it when you see it. You all know that. Then I was at, this was last weekend, a couple of my Dollar Trees. And I was shook to the core. When you see what I bought, you are going to be shook to the core as well. Um, Jim Beam Coffee. What? This is original Jim Beam Coffee. And it says that it's... Um, I think they're supposed to be like a whiskey flavor. This is good until August 4th of 23. And what I'm thinking, and I'll tell you in a second, but they also had Jim Beam Vanilla Bourbon. And then they had Junior's Coffee. Now, Junior's is a uh, deli or a diner in New York City at Times Square is the one I went to. And they have good coffee. So I'm thinking either a gift basket for one person um, or using like the big snowman mugs, throwing a coffee in there, some coffee stirrers, some candy and a gift card. And that is a great Christmas gift. If you have to buy an office gift and you know somebody likes coffee, I mean, this is great, but you can get any coffee. I mean, that is a fantastic gift. If you have like an exchange person that's a coffee drinker, coffee a mug and then maybe a starbucks gift card or duncan gift card to tim hortons whatever's near you but i got these for sure now one set i bought is going to my cousins because i know that they will like these and i actually went to um I'm trying to remember what it's called oh the backwoods festival and i bought them a christmas present that is themed around some whiskey so we got them some whiskey we got them coffee they love coffee and i got them a big wreath the wreath is made out of a whiskey barrel ring and then there's a piece of wood across the middle that's made from the whiskey barrel itself and it's super cute i'm looking at it right now because it needs to get put away for christmas but i bought it at the craft fair and it was a very reasonably priced so i was excited and that is everything for this week's dollar tree haul i'm, I'm getting excited i need to put some gifty ideas together for us but also some crafty stuff so i think the next video i come out with i'll probably make this weekend i've just been super busy with like my real job my day job i suppose and also my part-time job it's football season so i spend a lot of time at the stadium and the arena so that is everything oh my next video that i come out with will be some gift ideas using heat transfer vinyl i'm gonna use my heat press that i have because i'm obsessed with it but you can use an iron you can use the cricket press you can use anything you want and you don't even have to use heat transfer vinyl. You can do paint. You can do nothing. These are just ideas. But these are all going to be Christmas gift ideas for people in my life. So I hope that interests you. And we're going to get crafting, guys. All right. I'll talk with you later. Bye.